So every child of God that is saved is living in freedom of sin. But there is a man that must daily be put to death. Mr. Flesh. I tag him Mr. Flesh. I put the Mr. because he's really <laughs> manifesting powerfully in the life of believers. There are lots of hypocrites in the church. It's not hypocrites that are in the church. It's Mr. Flesh that is manifesting in the church. It's dominating. And hypocrisy is just one part of his traits. Many a times we feel faith in Christ is what will take us to heaven. And then we pay less attention to the works of the flesh. So let's go to Romans 8. So we start from 6 and we go to 18. Slowly please. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Can someone explain when they hear the word carnality, what does it mean to them? Walking after your carnal desires, your fleshly desires, things that your body tells you to do and you just follow. <laughs> okay, so it's death. So it's an domination. But to be spiritually minded is life. Now when we talk about carnality, it's the activity of Mr. Flesh in a man. We are all the carnal Christian. It's the activity of Mr. Flesh in you. That makes you carnal. A carnal mind is an enmity to who? God. Against God. Yes, Marie Don Ma. For it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then, mm -hmm. those who are in the flesh mm -hmm. cannot please God. Anyone that is in the flesh cannot please God. Now, the question is can we actually live without the flesh? Do we believe that there is a Christian that can be free from the grip of the flesh? Do we believe? Do we believe that we can be free? from the grip of the flesh so everything a believer do in life it's all about choices you can either choose to be carnally minded or you choose to be with the lord you make a choice to be with god or to be against god i've had people say that i want to be a child of the devil i don't want to be with god it's your choice so if you desire to stop being carnally minded there is no one that will ask god for mercy and the lord will not answer us one prayer that the Lord will not close his ears to is a cry for help and mercy. I don't really understand myself. I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know that what I'm doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good. So I am not the one doing wrong. It's a sin living in me that does it. So let's start this way. If you give your life to Jesus, you need to understand that there is a role there, there is a man existing in you that if you're not aware of this man it would constantly contaminate your life as a believer that scripture calls it it is sin in me i think i've heard that people say oh believers don't need to ask for forgiveness of sin when you come to church it, asking for forgiveness of sin is like you are asking to be saved oh, I, I, i'm like where are these doctrines coming from they are false teaching the truth is read that eating again and I know that nothing good nothing lives in me. Living in the knowledge that there is nothing good of myself. The spirit of God in you, for you to allow it to be at work, you have to understand that in me, Olushola, that used to be, there's nothing good in her. Of myself, I can do nothing. And when the spirit of God is trying to hold you back, you're fighting against it. Because the you will actively do contrary to what? The spirit of God wants. I feel like many Christians, when we come to a conclusion whereby we say, Oh, no perfect Christians. It's because we struggle to do what is right. We struggle. There is a redemptive power of Christ that is at work in us that we need to show to men. It is the intentionality to live the life of holiness that push you into a holy life. And now let me say this. It's not like magic that we start today you say next week you want to become i'm now a champion for jesus no it could take years it's a walk apostle Paul say i die daily till the lord take the bread out of you you have to constantly crucify the flesh you're angry at people but yet you see yourself loving them regardless they make you so upset you just want to be good to them that's what happened next i really want us to understand Mr. Flesh is powerful. There's nothing like I am a Christian. I am not. A, if you are not careful, you find yourself wallowing in the same sin that you've been set free from. 